2015 Chevy Traverse. Uh, this car has a AC leak. Owner came at the end of the last season. Uh, the uh, system was low on the refrigerant. I filled it up and put some UV dye in it and uh, pretty much kept it for the rest of the summer. There was like a, maybe two more months. And um, a couple of weeks ago we had a couple of warm days so lady turned the AC on and didn't work. Uh, and uh, now since I had a UV dye in it I decided to look around see if I could find where the leak is. Looked all over the place couldn't find it. Now I did some research, uh, looked some uh, YouTube videos and uh, I found out that there's a uh, common place where this AC no, no, power steering hose, this hose here would rub right up against this hose, AC hose here and um, it basically will just rub all the way through and uh, make a hole but that's not the case on this one you can see they put this rubber shield here so that was not the problem looked everywhere under the car condenser all over the place every single hose nothing then I realized that actually this car has a rear AC now I am uh, at the rear of the car on a passenger side on the right side and uh, we can see there's a evaporator uh, for a rear AC now here there's a, a drain hose and a lot of times when these evaporators are leaking you're gonna see some residual UV dye right around here When I look at my UV dye, you can see, well, that's that's just a, a label. So when I have a UV dye, I couldn't really see anything obvious. What you see there is just a reflection from the uh, label on the on the hose. But right there is our uh, drain, and uh, I really could not find any any UV dye at all. Whole unit is uh, located in the trunk on the on the right hand side see the fan and the evaporator at the bottom and um, so what I did I uh, pulled the panel back a little bit and uh, shine into this box I'm not sure if the if the camera can pick it up or not but you can see right there there was a little bit of a UV dye right there I can see it I think camera can pick it up and then I decided to uh, remove a, uh, a resistor from this um, rear unit and uh, let's look and then now we can actually see the uh, evaporator right right there in the, in the corner and I shine the light there and you can see all the UV dye So this evaporator is leaking and needs to be replaced. Not easy to find for sure, but uh, I think I'll be able to fix this one. I got it out and uh, took it apart. This is a new uh, evaporator. Now there's a lot of screws and a lot of these tiny clips all over the place. Uh, pay attention to all these little holes. Uh, I was a struggle for a while to take it apart. Because each of these little, little openings here has actually a little screw in it. I got it here and here and, uh, and here, here, all over the place. And um, so just uh, kind of be patient. If it doesn't, if it doesn't come apart, there will be a screw somewhere else. Like on this side, there's one here, he, here, here, and here, and all the way around. And then uh, all these little tiny clips, all the, these little clips. They have to be taken apart, taken off, and uh, it's not too bad, it's just kind of, to be honest, a little annoying, but uh, it's not too bad. Alright, I'm going to put it together and uh, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> Alright. Here's the old evaporator, you can see all the traces from UV dye, where the leak was. actually quite a bit. Now the reason why 
this is hard to find is when we're looking for leaking evaporator we just go down underneath the underneath the car and shine the light on a uh, UV light on our drain hose and due to condensation that water as it comes out it's going to flush out some of the UV dyes so you're going to be able to see it however this car it has a third third row seat but it's a small family and uh, they don't use the rear AC or the heat uh, or the uh, heat as anyway so there is no condensation taking place there's this fan here it's not blowing any hot air over the evaporator to make the water to the condensation to flush it down and that's why when we shine the light underneath the car there was nothing and um, as I said I looked everywhere I couldn't find any leaks so what I did I uh, pulled this cover lift this up and then just pull this cover up there's no bolts on it or anything the next that you take these plastic covers off you're gonna have a bolt here and here take those two out and then this cover here says airbag pull this tab out you're gonna have a little screw here take that out and just pop it off you pull the rubber out and uh, you're gonna be able to uh, pull this back just enough to shine the light on the on the evaporator if you see any traces of your UV dye that's gonna be a problem also you can take that little resistor just got two screws take the resistor out and you're gonna have a larger opening you can actually shine the light straight on the evaporator itself I did not film the process of uh, finding uh, repairing because I never done this one before what I had to do I had to remove this seat there's a two bolts in the back and the seat just slides out uh, you take this cover and you're gonna take this there's another cover this piece of plastic under here there's a bolts here here and here you take that out and then um, <clears throat> once you remove these two bolts you pop this off you're gonna pop this up right in here this corner you're gonna have one screw you take that screw out and then you're gonna be able to uh, uh, okay so this cover here uh, right there on that where that little uh, hook is uh, you're gonna pop that up there's gonna little screw there as well so then you're gonna, you're gonna be able to uh, pull this upper uh, cover off and then this whole thing will slide out and once you get inside uh, you're gonna have a duct that goes from the main unit kind of over the fender and down so you're gonna have one screw at the very end on that duct and one screw here you're gonna remove the duct it's gonna be another duct that actually leads up to the roof that has one screw here take that out and there's gonna be one screw that holds the whole unit don't don't take anything out of the unit all the, the retaining clips everything stays together get underneath the car remove the there's a two 10 millimeter nut to that holds the whole unit and then it's going to be a uh, I think 13 millimeter nut that holds the AC lines in and then you're going to have two lines for your uh, heater core you're going to lose some coolant but you have a unclip it pull them down and then a whole unit comes out and at that point you're just taking everything apart uh, take some pictures and uh, as I said there's a whole bunch of screws and clips just remove them all take the whole if if the unit does not come apart then you then there's something you you miss there's some kind of hidden screw somewhere so don't force it, it should, it'll, once everything once you remove everything uh, it will easily come apart put new evaporator in put new uh, o-rings and uh, you should be fine uh, as i said i never done this one before this is my first one so i didn't really know what i mean it took me a while to figure out what i need to take apart but that's basically how you're going to do it and uh, but anyhow if you cannot find a uh, AC leak on these cars. I'm not sure if this applies for some other models, but one with the rear AC Check this evaporator here All right guys. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. -bye.